Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'd like to talk about some fun facts that you might not know about Schmincke. I will, as per usual, put links in the description in case you'd like to grab anything I talk about for yourself or a gift for someone else. So, Schmincke. They are one of the oldest watercolor brands in the world, and if money were no object, I would absolutely stock my art supply shelves full of their paint. They just do all I ask of them, and there are some absolutely gorgeous, light, fast, transparent colors, like, um, for example, this fabulous May Green. That's a hard color to get light fast, and Schmincke has it, and it's, I just love it. Okay, so even though they're kind of the Mercedes or the Porsche or the Audi of watercolors, there were things that I didn't even know until recently. So I compiled a few Schmincke facts. First of all, Schmincke, when spelled with a C before the K, is a person's name, literally the founder of the company. But Schmincke, when spelled with no C before the K, actually means makeup, like rouge and lipstick. And I think that's pretty cute because they have so many pretty colors of acrylics and oils and pastels and watercolor. So it makes sense, even if it's just a random coincidence. Secondly, Schmincke has been in business in Dusseldorf, Germany since 1881, and it's still a family-owned company 142 years later. In fact, Schmincke put the company in a trust so that it can't be bought out by the big conglomerates who have purchased a lot of other brands. I won't name names. Um, Schmincke is dedicated to sustainability, which is really important for me. That's something that I have absolutely focused on this year as I seek out companies to do reviews of and try their supplies. I want to make sure I'm getting things that are sustainable. So eco-friendly goodness, um, honestly, that's a lot to ask of a paint company just because of the nature of how paint is made. But I think that Schmincke tries their best, and I found it pretty fascinating to learn about a couple of initiatives they've taken. So they had an idea from someone on a tour who noticed that there were some remnants of colors on work surfaces and supplies after products were made. So he suggested that maybe they could capture and use those extra little bits of pigment hanging around for something else. And Schmincke thought that that was pretty awesome, so they developed a color called Random Gray. That's what happens, by the way, if you mix all the colors together, you're going to get gray. So they collect all the extra pigments now throughout the year, and once a year they make a big batch of, it's called random gray, and it's different every year. Sometimes it leans more red, other times more blue, etc. Um, there's a link in the description if you'd like to try it. I have definitely seen it as a watercolor for sure, and I think they've also tried to do it as a pastel as well. Another thing that Schmincke does to help with sustainability is just plain fun. They purchase bicycles for their employees to promote wellness and to encourage everyone to bike to work if possible. They also package their products in recycled containers whenever possible. They've installed an efficient solar energy system and they only work with raw material suppliers who share their sustainable philosophy. Another fun fact is that Schmincke doesn't really have turnover. The average tenure of their employees is 18 years, and they actually joke that like, well, your trial period is over after about 10 years. Um, it's typical for families to work there over multiple generations. So, you know, I have a lot, a lot of art supply companies out there that I can choose to work with. I have this YouTube channel and on some level it's a platform and I can tell you about all the different brands and all the different trendy things, but it makes more sense to me to kind of pick and choose what I review and like I said, especially this year, I'm trying to find companies that I just truly believe in and I like working with and I'm proud to show off. And Schmincke definitely fits in that category, mostly because they have been around so long. Another thing um, to know about Schmincke is that when you do go to purchase them, the sizes of the watercolor products vary between stores. So if you go to Jackson's, you can get 15 milliliter tubes, 
the great big ones, um, five milliliter tubes like this, full pans this size, and half pans. So Jackson's, for most of the colors, they have all four choices. If you go to Blick, they mostly have 15 milliliter tubes for watercolor and half pans. Most of the colors only have those two choices. So if you're shopping and you don't see the format that you want, change to a different store and you might find, you know, if you if you like the bigger tubes, go to Jackson's. If you like full pans, which I do because they're easier on your brushes, um, then go to Jackson's. But if you want like lickety split, you know, faster shipping and you want to ship within the U.S., then go to Blick. Um, I will say that Jackson's is actually shipping many of their orders from Maine now, so their shipping is faster than it has been to the U.S., which is awesome. So both of those are fantastic. I like working with both Jackson's and Blick. Just know that they carry different products. So those are just a few interesting tidbits about what has become my favorite watercolor brand. I'm going to give you a quick little sampling of something that I did this week. And that's using Schmincke Horadam, and that's another thing to mention, Horadam versus Academy. And I'm probably pronouncing Academy incorrectly because I don't speak German. But Horadam is the professional line, the artist quality line, and Academy is the student quality line. So I'm using Horadam, and I'm just kind of building my collection little by little. So here's just a cute little sample of something I painted this week. And these are just sweet little cardinals. I of course think that this is a cardinal couple. They have fallen madly in love. They're going to have baby cardinals. And FYI, cardinals mate for life and they share parenting duties. And I just think that's sweet. So I sketched these with a Tombow mono drawing pen. I painted them with Schmincke. Um, it's mostly Quinn Red Light a little bit of ruby red deep, kind of for like undertones. And um, let's see, I made my own black. So, you know, if you mix blue and red and yellow and you do it in the right combination, you can make your own black. Um, let's see, the orange I made, that's probably Quinn Red Light with a little bit of transparent yellow. And then for Mrs. Cardinal over here, because as you know, they're a completely different like color scheme than the male. Um, she's a lot brighter, so she's got some Quinn Gold here, and um, I mixed a little bit of Quinn Red Light into her feathers because there are a couple spots where she's a little brighter. And then the sticks that they're kind of hanging out on here, the branches, those are mostly green umber. So I'm trying to have a palette of all transparent colors. So this is what I've got so far. I've got Ruby Red Deep. I want to get just ruby red, but I have ruby red deep, quin red light, quin magenta, quin gold hue, transparent yellow, aureolin hue, which is fantastic as a bright yellow transparent color, um, may green, mountain blue, quin purple, and green umber. And in addition to being transparent, these are also all light fast. So. Happy little palette I've got going here, but I definitely need to bulk up on my earth tones and I need some more blues and greens, but I'm getting there. So, so many colors, so little time. I should also mention that this was painted on a Loistrom 1917 notebook. This is the typical Loistrom 1917 Classic 80 GSM. So it's not the heavy paper, it's not the sketchbook or anything, it's just the regular notebook that's typically used as a bullet journal. I got blank this time, but they come in ruled, a six millimeter rule. They come in uh, dot grid and square grid. And I love how they take watercolor. So if you see here, this is really highly pigmented watercolor and a pigment-based technical drawing pen. And here's the other side, there's no bleed through. You're going to get ghosting, of course, you. You always will, probably with 80 GSM paper, but there's no bleeding. So I can absolutely use both sides of the page. And basically, if I'm just writing, or if I have a little bit of, you know, just quick little illustrations, then I absolutely use both sides of the page. No worries. If I paint something that I really like, like this, and I think, gosh, I'm I might actually scan that and put it on a greeting card or something. Then in that case, I do not paint on the reverse.
because I want to keep it as clean as possible. Easier to scan that way. So anyway, Schmincke watercolors on Loistrom 1917 notebooks. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you would like to see more eco-friendly art and journaling and planning tips, then please like and subscribe and come back and see me again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.